The Ladies French Open is midway through round two and here with me now to break down the action so far is Alex from Boom Betting Agency. Now Serena Williams was more bothered by a ball bouncing off her shoulder as she ran back to hit a lob than she was by her opponent in round one, winning comfortably in straight sets. Now she's favoured by eight games with a handicap line against Annalena Friedman uh, in round two. Uh, do you see any flaw in her game so far? Uh, yeah, as you said, uh, she was bothered by a ball uh, and uh, she couldn't stop laughing after that. It's one of the funny moments uh, from Roland Garros. She passed easy this uh, match and for sure that uh, she will make the same in the second round with Anna Lena. Another easy you know, opponent for her. I'm sure that the a minus eight uh, game Asian handicap is a good bet because Serena uh, is not a good bet because Serena will not push in this match. I don't think uh, what to, I, I don't know what to say about this bet, but I'm sure that Serena will try to win the tournament and her best shape. We will see it uh, after uh, the quarterfinals when she will need it the most. She can adjust her game to every opponent uh, that she plays. So if uh, she will meet an easy opponent, she will uh, she will win. But uh, I don't say that I don't think that uh, she will want to win 6-0, 6-0. She is possible. I'm not saying. But uh, I think that we should pass the, the minus eight game uh, Asia handicap. Okay, then. Uh, well, last year's semi finalist Eugenie Bouchard uh, was bounced out in her first match there against Kristina Mladenovic. Uh, how shocking was this? Not shocking at all. Uh, we talked about this when we previewed uh, her match, and it was exactly the surprise that we were expecting. We gave, we gave also the tip uh, that uh, Mladenovic will win this one at an odd of 2.5, and like that it was. Also, the specialist and the bookies didn't offer a bigger odd for, for Mladenovic because they know that Bouchard doesn't have anything to do with the last year uh, when, she impre was, when she was impressing everyone. Now she has to restart the training and uh, rethink her strategy. Her shape uh, right now is of a, of a player from 60 to, six, uh, to, to 70 place in the WT rankings. So um, I think that uh, she will restart to train and to, to play better little by little because also uh, physically, also her psychology, they're not good at all. And uh, this uh, 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 we can see in uh, her matches. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other reports from round two to give us? Yeah, the, um, the only and the biggest shocker in the round uh, two was the defeat of Simona Halep, number three in the world right now, and the finalist from the last year in front of uh, Lucia Baroni, number 60 in the world, who played that, uh, won 12 times their money. The other, result, uh, the other results were normal. Anna Ivanovic only struggled in the match with the uh, Misaki duo, Doi, but uh, she managed uh, to win in three sets. As expected, uh, Lisiki and Kerber passed in the second, passed in the next round. Yeah, that's right. How are you faring with your bets so far? Where have you made the most money? At the beginning of the tournament, in the first uh, three, four rounds, the bets um, are uh, the ones uh, from the, the good, the best bets are from the, from the ones from the games market, under over, uh, because most of the games are hard to predict the winners market. The favorites usually have odds maximum at 1.2, so we are not playing that. Later on the tournament, we will have also the winner's market, but now let's concentrate on under over and um, a number of sets in a match. Mm -hmm. All right then. Now, Caroline Wozniacki is a minus 220 favorite against Julia Georges. Is Wozniak a safe bet here? Caroline is uh, showing a good form and uh, normally she should win this match. But me, I'm expecting an over 21.5 games in the match priced at 1.9 or even three sets in the match priced at 2.3. I think that uh, after all, uh, she will win it, but uh, it's a very hard match for her in front of uh, Julia Georges that uh, showed uh, impressive uh, format this year, Roland Garros. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Do you have any tips to share with us uh, for tomorrow's action? Yeah, I chose uh, two tips uh, that are coming from the winner's market because uh, is a lot of uh, the matches, uh, the favorites, uh, as I was saying, they are priced at very low odds. So my bets are coming from uh, Kristina Mladenovic that after she, she won uh, over Bouchard, I think that she can win uh, also over Danka Kovic, Kovinic at an odd of 1.61. Mm -hmm. Another game that I'm thinking is... Um, 
Madison Keys that is in an excellent uh, form to win over Belinda Bencic at 1.57. Uh, but it will be a hard game for her. So I see also uh, an, 20, uh, an over 21.5 uh, games in the match price at 1.9. All right, fantastic. So there you have it, the top tips there for some tennis action coming shortly. Uh, if you'd like to follow our in-play tennis action, do head on over to our Twitter page, SBR Sports Picks there, and uh, follow the action with us as and when it happens. Alex, thank you for joining us. Thank you for the invitation, Ed.